that is my reading for this week, the 6th through the 12th of August. And now for those sticking around for the writing journaling exercises for building slash rebuilding a new vision for yourself, I'm right here with you and I'm going to get seated comfortably. Welcome to the writing slash journaling exercise for the last quarter moon in Taurus. So this so think about this entire cycle that we've gone through. We started with the new moon in Capricorn. Then we had the first quarter moon. Then we headed into the full moon in Aquarius. Now we're here. First quarter moon, right before we enter this new moon cycle in Leo. And so one of the things that I was thinking of, like, as a higher vision a brand new vision is being created. And that is what a new moon does. It's where we can put our manifestations out there into the world where we can really be like, this is my heart. This is my destiny. And with this upcoming Leo new moon, it is like, oh my God, here's my heart just right out here for the world to see. So in this particular case, I was thinking like with the last quarter moon, we have Jupiter conjunct the moon. There's a wide conjunction to Uranus and Taurus. Um, so the writing exercise can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. But on the 8th, we're in this in-between journey time. And I was thinking about like past, present, future. So with the full moon, it was to write a letter to yourself or to anybody that you need to release and let go. In this particular case, if you're still working with that letter, I would also say for this particular last quarter moon, before we enter the cycle of the new moon, we're in the middle, we're in the in-between time of the past, the present, and the future. So I honestly, like I wrote a letter to past me, present me, and future me. And I'm keeping those letters just in honor. So like, past me, I wrote a letter, signed it, dated it. Present me, wrote a letter, signed it, dated it. Future me, wrote a letter, signed it, dated it. Added in some affirmations. And that's really the exercise. And it's super as simple like you can even just be like pass me just a couple of bullet points like this this and this present this this and this future this this and this and it's really just to honor this lunar cycle but it's also to honor the solar cycle so it's like soul cycle just like in the middle you know and we are in the middle we're in a seasonal middle with the moon and i think that's such a beautiful thing so I mean, I feel like this episode has been kind of up and down, but I also kind of feel like I am vibing with the 8-8 eight, eight energy. <laughs> um, the other thing is choose a personal symbol. So for me, for example, it's a rose. I love roses. They're my favorite flower. And they've always just been a deep symbol for me. And so I drew a rose as my symbol going in and being like, anytime... I'm like trying to figure out like, what the hell do I do? I feel so lost, so confused. Like what the fuck is going on? I just think about a rose and I think about what that rose means. And I even put it into my show art. I even put it in as just like a reminder that like, this is the work. But at the same time, I have this deep symbol of the heart of the sacred mother of the divine feminine that's always with me. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Trust Your Glitter this week. And also this week, if you guys could just like, subscribe uh, my content, I I want to say I'm super grateful. I was on the top 250 for Stand Up and Chartable this week for, for Apple. And she's, she's, she's moving slowly. But I have to say, I'm not uncategorizing this podcast from Stand Up. She is staying in Stand Up. Because I got a dirty mouth and I, I say some weird shit and she's staying in the stand-up category. So thank you for continuing to listen to me. Thank you for those uh, in the beautiful 
uh, country of India. Thank you for continuing to put this podcast on Chartable. So, so, so grateful. Thank you for your listens. Thank you to the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine listeners out there. I'm so grateful. Um, And also, I have a project I'm working on. It's a vlog series. It's on my YouTube. You can look it up, Christy Melich on YouTube. And I'm just documenting my journey in stand-up comedy. Now, one of the things I'm also doing, I have a vlog series called Camel Toe Strong, which is a complete when I went back and this is very mercury retrograde I went back into my videos and realized I had a whole slew of videos of me on the road for stand-up comedy so I'm just making that into a long vlog series the first episode's up camel toe strong it's a spiritual journey about being a stand-up comedian on the road please please if you if you love stand-up comedy or if you just love weird shit I do a lot of weird shit. There's a lot of me talking to a camera, but I'm very, very proud of this series. I'm very proud of the journey. And if you're on a journey, um, keep going, keep creating, keep loving, keep appreciating. You got this and have a great week ahead. Take care. Bye.